Big cats. Supreme predators. Equipped with powerful tools. Night vision. Dagger-like teeth and claws. Rippling muscles for speed and power. They can feast on 60 pounds of meat in one sitting. But how do they actually stalk and kill giant prey? Sometimes even human beings. It's time to go beneath the fur, down the throat, and even underwater to uncover the engineering secrets of lions, tigers, leopards, and a startling creature that may be the biggest, baddest, ultimate cat of all. They inspire our imagination and haunt our dreams. Nighttime stalkers. Perfect ambush predators. Engineered to the extreme. On Africa's savanna, it's the lion. On the snowy plains and leafy forests of Asia, it's the tiger. And in the tall grass and trees, it's the leopard. These are the big cats. Growing up to 10 feet long, weighing more than 600 pounds. They lurk in the shadows, designed not to be seen, appearing and disappearing in the blink of an eye. Perfectly designed for ambush. In Tanzania, Africa, lions rule the savannah. It's 9 p.m. And lions, maybe even a whole pride, are hunting for prey. Hundreds of pounds of muscle and bone slip silently through the bush. And tonight, their search for food takes them to an edge of a village called Mkaranga. Police officers mingle around the local station house. No one is aware of the danger lurking nearby. Until terrified cries come from the forest. Two men running for their lives. Behind them, two lions working together execute an ambush. Within seconds, the lions reach the men just outside the village police station. The officers are trapped inside with no way to help the victims. One policeman takes aim through the protected window and fires. But it's far too late. Both men are now dead. Only later will he learn that his shots were successful and that the lions, too, are dead. But this attack reveals some critical aspects of big cat engineering. The attack began with a lion's signature strategy, launching their eight-foot-long bodies directly onto the victim. Once a lion pounces on its quarry, it uses pure muscle power to haul the prey to the ground. The men were trapped beneath the big cat's giant eight-inch paws and four-inch claws, pinning them down. The jaws hinge open to reveal three to four-inch canines that can bite with enough power to crack a spine. These victims have joined a long list of tragedies in Tanzania. On average, lions kill at least one person in this country every week. And as more lion habitat is converted into farmland, scientists fear these numbers will rise. Tonight's attack took place in the cover of darkness, which may be the ideal setting for a big cat attack. They are engineered for nighttime ambush. 
the police officers saw with their own eyes one of the special powers that big cats possess. Lions, when they are in the darkness, they can see anything approaching them. One essential piece of gear for a nighttime strike lies inside a cat's eyes. Just behind the retina lies a layer of reflecting cells. When light enters a big cat's eyes, it hits these reflecting cells and bounces back, enhancing whatever the cat sees. Human eyes don't have this feature. It's one reason a cat's vision is six times as powerful as a human's in the dark. This reflective coating is also why a cat's eyes shine in the night. When the men in Tanzania bolted from the forest, it was already dark. Too dark for humans, but more than enough light for the cats. Faint moonlight is all a cat needs for their eyes' reflective cells to do their work. But big cats have another way to navigate the darkest of nights. There's another powerful tool on a cat's face that can help guide it toward prey. Even in pitch black, over a dozen whiskers are actually a big cat's sixth sense. As the creature prowls, the snout flexes, and its whiskers point forward, seeking out obstacles and even prey. Whiskers are so sensitive, they can detect even tiny puffs of air. A bundle of nerves at the base of each shaft sends signals to the brain, telling the cat something is out there. And when a big cat locks onto its prey, it normally waits and watches, staying still for up to nine hours, gathering key information on their target, its size, strength, and distance, the direction it's moving, and whether it's injured or has another weakness the cat can exploit. Big cats do everything they can to increase their chances of a successful ambush. And when prey is finally taken down, the whiskers have another critical role to play. When a cat bites down on prey in the darkness, the whiskers can angle forward to feel their way around the fur and skin of the victim. Scientists believe the whiskers may be gathering key data on the status and position of the prey how much the victim is struggling, or even when and where to execute a precision bite. The very tools that big cats use to navigate their nighttime world, their vision and their whiskers, have helped make them almost perfect nocturnal hunters. But these individual talents become even more forbidding when you realize that lions often hunt together. Lions are not like other cats. They are highly cooperative hunters. A pride of lions takes on a herd of prey like a team of special forces. Two advanced scouts move silently into position at the back and sides of the herd. Other members of the pride stalk closer from the front. In a flash, the ambush begins. Bray suddenly realizes it has nowhere to turn. And the result is inevitable. The kill takes just a few seconds. The young, weak, and injured are the easiest targets. The feasting can go on for hours. <laughs> 